Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well, we got a little, no, a big pressure washer. 2700 PSI, 2.5 gallons per minute. It's got a pretty big engine on it. And a pretty big pump. I really don't know what's wrong with it. The guy who owns it says that it's, it's bogging down, but I don't know if it's the pump killing the motor or the motor just quitting. So let's just uh, do all of the things we do. We go to Bunny Rabbit. We go to Gas On and Choke. That should be it. It should start. It's got a, he says it's got a tank of brand new fuel, which is never a guarantee. Too. <laughs> oh, it's on. Okay. Okay, that's as fast, that's as much as I'm going to run it without having the water and the pump connected. Engine sounds fine. Although I didn't run it long enough. But what he has done, which is kind of fun, is that right here, he's added the, uh, the quick connects, which is just so wonderful. They work for a couple of reasons. Number one, you just click on and click off, right? Excuse me. And number two, uh, if the if the cord's going to swivel, it can. I'm just going to start it up one more time because I'm a little shaky on this. Uh... Okay, I actually turned it off there, didn't I? Let's just try it one more time. Choke. Maybe we don't need a choke now. with it a little bit more. I will get the water connected to it and we'll get the wand going, get water flowing. It doesn't really want to stay running that well. So it's almost impossible to tell at this point. It kind of works and it kind of doesn't. Just what, That's exactly what the guy who owns it said. Okay. So that was step one. We'll carry this on in another day. up in the air on the pender lip and I'm just going to fiddle around with it to see if I can get it to start a little easier. I'm going to do a quick check of the oil. It's got some. Could be a little higher. And go a little higher up. I'm going to do... Oh. Perfect! Okay, bunny rabbit is the only way to go and choke. I'm going to pull with my right arm. I pulled my left arm a little bit yesterday. And then I'm going to check the dirt inside the uh, bypass valve and then we'll hook it up to the hose. Ugh. So, there you go. You get to watch. 
Turn it on. Ah. To me, now remember, these stationary engines, they have a cast iron flywheel at the top, or right, at the, right underneath the rewind here. If it was a mower, it'd be on top. Just like this little one, this tiny little pressure washer has its own cast iron flywheel in the top. I'm not, I'm not kidding you guys. Some guys kind of smirk at that, but that's a big deal. So, he says it's not running, not pressurizing water, but the engine seems to run pretty good. And then he says when he squeezes the trigger on the, on the wand, it quits. So before even taking it out to the world, I'm bringing the world of water in here, <laughs> I'm just going to have a look inside the bypass valve here. Right. There. When you work on uh, pressure washers, you might have to use six different wrenches all in the same moment. See now that that's too big and that's too small. So that was thirteen sixteenths. So the next one's going to be seven eighths, and that's too big. So let's go metric and see if a uh, twenty two is too big, which it will be. So we gotta go to the special wrenches and go to 21. Lardy, that's what she is, is a 21. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna see what kind of crud is in here. Might be nothing. This is probably just an adjustment here. Hmm, looks pretty good to me. Waxy? Let's try the other one. Well, we might as well put this one back on. They look fine. First we'll try tighten this one down and then take the other one off. Good. Then we'll take this one if we can. We might have to line it up. Go spring to the ceiling or not? There should be a big spring in here. Big, ugly, dirty son of a gun spring. No, nope, just a plunger. Okay. You put that back on. I think I better. It's time to hook up the hose to this guy. I'm surprised there's nothing in that pump at all. Yeah, I got them both tight. Oh. Gotta think about this. Okie dokie. I'm gonna just add a, a brass quick connect to the input of this. I don't think it's anywhere near that. Because it will work. And I've got a quick connect for my water hose and 
for the pressure side. Good. Now, we have to hook this up or it'll squirt right out. So let's do that right now. You guys still on watching this? Okay, we'll hook this guy up to here. That's nice. And then we take our hose with the pressure on it and you'll hear some gurgling. Why isn't that staying on? Maybe it's a slow connect, not a quick connect. Ugh. Back you up a little bit. water. It's not gas. Now I'm going to open the big door and I noticed that he hasn't even got uh, a connector in the end yet. I like the uh, gold ones. They're kind of an in-betweener. There, that should spray a little bit. Yep. Okay. Now we're ready to do the magic. We're going to start this pump up and see what it does. I'm going to back you guys over to here because I also have light issues. And I'm going to start this up and we're going to see what the gun does. Now I should probably be a little bit closer to the door. But on. Choke again? Yeah. Right arm pull. Come on, girl. Holy schmoly! <laughs> That's not good. Okay, we're flooded. Let's see, we'll go to two thirds arm choke. hear that? That was pretty, yeah, I'm going to join you. That was pretty amazing. Okay, let's try this again. took off which I knew it was which I knew it was gonna do so now what it actually does pressure up it starts it pressures up but I don't know how easy it starts eh? his, his pipes leak 
Mine don't. I might fix that for them. All right, I took it apart. Very simple. That came off from there. And he had some kind of, uh, I don't think it was plumber cement, but he had some kind of goo in there, which is not going to be what the doctor ordered. So I'm going to use Teflon tape. I've done this on all of my other pressure washers that I've added uh, connectors to. Okay, we're getting up there. I think that's going to work. And I am going with the threads. It's just that I'm doing it left-handed, you guys. Oh. <laughs> you might be able to salvage that. And we screw this back down. It's not quite a 5 eighths, is it? Oh, 11.36. That's why. 5 eighths. Oh, and it's not 5 eighths. So now it's getting silly, silly. So we're looking at uh, 15 millimeters? Nope. And it's not 18 millimeters either, is it? Nope. Yeah? Pressure washer stuff is weird, man. Although we can use this one. It'll work. Because we have this guy on top. Good. Okay, just a few more to do. Did you guys get that? I'll just check. Well, okay, guys. Here we go. Uh, one thing I just thought I'd mention. I wasn't. I was only going to do one of these for you, but I'm doing uh, this one because you, you need an Allen key to get on the other side to tighten it up. And I'll probably just put it in the vise. Like that, just to hold it, sort of, and then I over here. Yeah, that'll do. And then we've got one more. This goes on the hole. Oh, this goes on the machine. I'll be right back. Okay, hi guys. We're just going to focus on the, uh, on the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, pressure washer again. We're going to hook everything back up again. I should probably stop this and move most of it outside so I don't get everything all wet now that I fixed the hoses. I'll be right back. Okay, my friends. Here's the old spark plug. It's cooled off now. Pardon me. Here's the old spark plug. We'll do it on the plastic so we don't have any, even the uh, resistance from your body can sometimes interfere if it's in the right range. So there we are, zero ohms. And we're going to go length to length on this plug. 33, 27, open circuit. And I'm pushing down hard on that. 104, 107, 209, 103. Isn't that interesting, eh? Hey? Right there. The bad spark plug. Let's do the BPR, uh, the NGK BPR plug. Okay, we'll move that plug out of the way. We'll bring the, the new plug in. Four point six eight. We'll try it three times. Four point six eight. 4.68, I hope you can see that. 
new plug measures good. Thanks a lot. Hmm, somebody's coming down the alley. Starts up like it did before. Oh, that's a big one. A little bit of choke, bunny rabbit. Here we go. Now being as I have a little bit of science in me, I'm going to change that spark plug out to the old plug and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with the old spark plug back in there again. died when I squeezed the trigger and then he says when he squeezes the trigger on the on the wand it quits so we won't fool with that anymore something like this is it's hard to, you know, you gotta make sure you're right, right? Because you're sending it back with the owner, with the story. Okay, so this one, this one kicked out as soon as I squeezed the trigger that time. So if it starts up and runs, we'll run it for a few seconds. Okay, on, spark plug plugged in. Should go. Now all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to change the oil in it for him because he's a really nice guy. And then it's had its tune-up. The air cleaner is brand new. These things never get dirty air cleaners because they're in a clean, moist environment, right? You set the machine off to the side and you spray the dirt off 30 feet away. So I'll be back in a bit. So I'm just changing the oil in it now. This was hard to get out because it was right in between the engine and the frame there. That's normal stuff. And uh, we'll just get some new, I'm going to put 1030 in it, 
it's an older machine. It should probably say somewhere on there 1030. Okay, I just gave it a little wipe down. I just turned it on. And we're going to see if it starts in one pull, and then I'm going to verify this is the new plug. Spark plug wires on. And uh, it should start without choke. Fantastic. Thanks for staying with me on this one, guys.